Every one of you men that I see in front of me today had a father who 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 had a father. And in the last thousand years, imagine this, one of your fathers for sure, you and you and you, stood on the earth with a sword in his hand. A sword on a battlefield. He might have killed somebody, or he might have been killed, but he, but he created a son first. Who created a son? Who created a son? Who created a son? All the way down to you. Imagine that. There were men that were standing beside him a thousand years ago who have no living sons today. The implication of that is through all the wars and pestilence and disease and famine and migration and persecution that happened in the last thousand years, your bloodline survived. You have the blood of champions. You had that father who stood on the battlefield with a sword in his hand, fierce. And we're afraid to talk to this girl drinking coffee. Uh, mm. I found this clip on YouTube earlier today and I had to share it with you, mate, because what is said, what he says in that clip is absolutely spot on. Think about it. Despite everything that's gone on in, a, in the past thousand years, you are here today on this earth. Your bloodline has survived where millions of bloodlines have perished already in the past. You have the blood of a champion. It is a miracle that you're here, but it's also a testament to the strength of your bloodline, to the masculine men in your bloodline that conquered, that survived, and it passed on their genes to you. You come from an ancestry of strong-willed, powerful, masculine men. They'll be turning in their grave right now if they could see you scared of talking to a girl, scared of approaching that girl drinking a coffee. They will be turning in their graves They've had to go through such sheer levels of pain, of sacrifice, of fear, of resilience to get you into this world today. That they will be truly, truly, truly disappointed, truly humiliated that you don't have the confidence to approach a girl. That you're scared of such a benign thing, right? like such, such a little thing, such a small little thing like approaching a girl. So mate, stop disappointing your ancestors and go approach that girl. The absolute best way that you're gonna make progress on your own self-improvement journey, mate, is by speaking to and getting specific tailored advice from someone on exactly the same journey as yourself but who is just a few steps ahead. And it's for this reason that I've started offering one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. So if you're interested in working exclusively with me, whether online or in person, check out the first two links in the description box down below.